Over the years, archaeologists and scientists have discovered some remarkable things buried underwater. The underwater kingdom has yielded a treasure trove of secrets that have helped to deepen our understanding of history and evolution. From the tracks of a giant beast that has long left the planet to an old town that can only be visited every few decades, here are 20 bizarre discoveries found in drained water bodies. Number 20. 1000 Lingas Sahasra Linga is a holy pilgrimage site located in the Karnataka state, India, in the Sirsi Taluk of the Ottara Kannada district. The site is famous for over 1,000 lingas carved on the rocks along the river Shalmala. The lingas are visible when the water depths in the river is low and it is believed that they were commissioned to be carved by Sadashiva Raya, the king of Sirsi, during the 1678 to 1718 in order to help him beget an heir to his kingdom. The Sanskrit word Sahasralinga means thousand lingas, and the site is considered sacred. Thousands of pilgrims visit the site during the Hindu festival Shivratri to offer pujas, which is a ritual for honoring the light of consciousness. The discovery of this magnificent site was made by John Bolbet, an ethnologist in 1969. However, his work was interrupted by the Cambodian Civil War, and it would take two decades before it was safe to visit the site again. The lingas are carved in different sizes, some of them standing alone while others are grouped together. The site features a natural beauty that is surreal, and it is a sight to behold. The lingas are believed to represent the unity of the universe, and their sheer number is a testament to the religious beliefs of the subcontinent of India. Now it's time for the star topic! Recently, with climate change being so drastic everywhere, even Niagara Falls in Canada saw their water levels dramatically decrease. When this happened, a group of scientists decided to take this once-in-a-lifetime chance and explore the riverbed of one of the tallest falls on Earth. They were very excited, at first, until they made a gruesome discovery. They discovered a giant fish that is, this far, unknown to science. But what's even more suspicious is that the Canadian government completely shut down all information about this find, and the project became instantly classified and nothing was left except this strange image. What do you think they could be hiding? What could be so special about a giant fish? Some people seem to think it was all part of a top secret project where they were trying to genetically modify fish for intelligence gathering and even for military use, but apparently some of the fish escaped and are now living at Niagara Falls. Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that being said, Let's keep things moving. Number 19. Lost ring found during sewage system sweep. And now, prepare yourself for a heartwarming story. Losing something valuable down the drain often means it's gone for good, but the story of Sarah Wolf proves that it isn't always the case. After losing her wedding ring down the drain over a year ago, she finally got it back in a rather unusual way. Recently, a worker from the city of Big Lake, Minnesota, found the ring during a routine sewer line cleaning. On July 9th, a post on the city's Facebook page advertised the ring and encouraged the ring's owner to come forward. A friend alerted Wolf to the post, and after describing and providing evidence of ownership, she was reunited with her ring on July 13th. Once Wolf reclaimed her ring, she took it to the jeweler where it was purchased, Shane Co. To have it cleaned, Shane Co. kindly gifted her a new necklace inscribed with her wedding date and offered a thank you gift to the employee and Good Samaritan who found the ring, David Sperling. You could tell it was a ring. I reached down into the pipe, and it was down in there about a foot. I just kind of pulled it back, and there it was. He said, and then he added, I was just doing my job more than anything. I just wanted her to get her ring back and a happy ending to the story. Number 18. Long Yu Caves in China. The Longyu Caves are an enigmatic series of man-made caves located in the Zhejiang province of China. The caves were discovered in 1992 after a local pond was drained, revealing a series of large man-made caverns cut into the sandstone bedrock of the region. Archaeologists estimate that the caves were constructed over 2,000 years ago during the Han Dynasty, but the purpose and method of their construction remain a complete mystery to this day. Measuring 30 meters in height and spanning a total area 
area of 30,000 square meters, the Long Yu Caves remain one of the largest underground excavation sites in the world. The vast chambers are completely devoid of any evidence of scaffolding or other construction equipment, leading some to speculate that the caves were created by an ancient civilization with sophisticated engineering and mining techniques. The walls of the caves are highly polished, with intricate carvings and decorations, leaving many historians to believe that the caves were used for some form of ceremonial or religious purposes, although no definitive conclusions have been drawn. Despite numerous attempts at analysis and dating through scientific and technological methods, such as carbon dating, spectroscopy analysis, and magnetic resonance imaging, the true purpose and method of construction of the Long Yu Caves remains a mystery that continues to captivate scientists and historians to this day. Number 17. Sea Dragon Workers conducting routine maintenance on a reservoir in the UK were in for the surprise of their lives when they made a remarkable prehistoric discovery. The discovery wasn't a regular find, but a massive 180 million year old ichthyosaur fossil that had remained intact for centuries. The workers had been carrying out some dredging on a lagoon island ahead of a planned re-landscaping initiative at the Rutland Water Nature Reserve. The fossil, named as Sea Dragon, measures around 110 meters long with the skull alone alone weighing about one ton, making it the most prominent and most complete of its kind ever unearthed in the United Kingdom. Paleontologist Dean Lomax led the excavation and noticed that the findings could provide essential insights into the past of extinct marine animals. A team of conservation workers noticed what appeared to be pipes just jutting out of the mud at the bottom of the reservoir. On closer inspection, they realized the colossal fossil was made up of organic bone material, prompting experts to come in for excavation. With a body shape similar to a dolphin, Ichthyosaurus first made an appearance around 250 million years ago before becoming extinct 90 million years ago. According to Lomax, the species was probably right at the top of the food chain, rendering it an ultimate apex predator worldwide. Number 16. Abandoned Bombay Beach a community of emerging artists is transforming the image of a neglected town on the shore of California's Salton Sea, despite it being located on the edge of a toxic and salty desert lake. Bombay Beach, which is a popular resort for urban explorers, was once a thriving community on the lakeside, but poor government management, which saw water diverted from the Colorado River to the Salton Sink and areas around it, led to the creation of the lake, which has increased in saltiness over time. The surrounding communities initially developed resorts and promoted the area as a lakefront playground. And for a while, this was a chic place to spend your holidays in, but the chemicals from agricultural runoff led to horrific pollution. Almost all the fish on the lake died, and bacteria and algae blooms just pile up, seeing as the water has nowhere to flow to. As you can imagine, this led to the lake stinking. Literally. Bombay Beach is now a mere shadow of its former self, and only a few people chose to live there. And trust me, it takes a special sort of person. The lake has gotten saltier, and this is slowly receding, revealing a dusty shoreline and dead fish. However, despite this uninviting picture, a group of artists have decided to settle here, bringing new life to the area and, and shining a light on its unique character. Number 15, World War II warships. As temperatures across Europe saw in recent summers, a drastic drop in the water levels of the majestic Danube River has exposed almost 20 sunken German army ships from World War II. The Danube begins in the Black Forest in southwestern Germany and is one of Europe's longest rivers, flowing all the way back to the Black Sea in Romania. The water levels have hit lows never before recorded and recently fell five feet over three weeks near Budapest. In Brahovo, Serbia, 380 miles south of the capital Budapest, the falling water levels revealed more than 20 Nazi German fleet vessels that retreated through the waterway from Soviet forces towards the end of World War II. Hundreds of sunken German warships are scattered across the Danube River, and the situation has posed a threat to current river traffic and shipping. But perhaps the most dangerous aspect of this whole thing is that many of the sunken boats still contain live ammunition and explosives, and thus their resurfacing has made stretches of the Danube unusable by at least 200 feet. The German flotilla has left behind a big ecological disaster that threatens us people of Prahovo, said Velimir Trezilovic, 74, a resident of the Serbian port city. Number 14. World War II Bomb 
An unexploded bomb from World War II, weighing 1,000 pounds, has been discovered in the depleting River Po in northern Italy. The Italian military revealed its discovery, and according to them, the device contains 530 pounds of explosives. The extreme drought in the country allowed fishermen to find the bomb, which was located near the Lombardy village of Borgo Virgilio. The northern region of Lombardy is experiencing its worst drought in 70 years, causing sections of the 400 miles long river to completely dry up. The drought has been worsened by the unusually hot weather and low rainfall levels in the area, intensifying concerns about the impact of climate change. As a controlled explosion was scheduled to take place, 3,000 nearby residents were reportedly evacuated. Lord Mayor Francesco Apori said, At first, some of the inhabitants said they would not move, but in the last few days, we think we have persuaded everyone. The area's safe space was also temporarily shut down, as well as river traffic on the waterway itself to avoid the risk of the explosion. It makes you wonder how disastrous it would have been if the bomb detonated when nobody knew it was under the water. Number 13. Weapons Temp Town Team Temp Town Lake, an artificial reservoir located in Temp, Arizona, was created by using inflatable dams that are made from rubber-coated tubes of strong fabric fixed to concrete slabs. These computer-controlled tubes could be inflated or deflated based on the levels of water to prevent flooding of the city. However, on July 20, 2010, one of the dams burst, sending water down the Salt River and draining the reservoir. Before the incident, authorities had noticed that the rubber on the inflatable dam was deteriorating, and replacements were scheduled to begin in February 2010. However, severe winter storms postponed the repairs, and the dams were deflated to accommodate a storm surge on the Salt River. Eventually, though, they decided to drain the lake altogether to build a brand new dam system, and what they found there will blow your mind. Figuratively, of course. Police had reportedly found several weapons and three one of which that had been stolen in the reservoir when it was drained in 2016. The emptying of the reservoir occurred in March to allow the construction of a new hydraulically operated steel gate dam to replace the inflatable rubber system. Fortunately, water had started flowing back into the lake at the rate of one foot a day in April, so we will never know how many other things are hiding under the water. Number 12. 400-Year-Old Church a historic 16th century church in Mexico, the Temple of Santiago in Nueva Quechula, has resurfaced from the Nezahual Coyotl Reservoir due to extreme drought conditions, marking the second time this has occurred in history. You could even say the church is having a Lazarus moment. The church was previously submerged 40 years ago during the construction of a dam on the Grijalva River. The previous time it emerged was in 2002, allowing visitors to walk through the temple, which had been abandoned by believers in the 18th century. During that time, the people celebrated. They came to eat, to hang out, to do business. I sold them fried fish. They did processions around the church, said a local fisherman. Although the church was built in the 16th century by a group of monks with the hope that it would become a significant religious center, it never achieved that status and had a short time in the spotlight, likely. It never even had a dedicated priest. Architect Carlos Navarrete described it as an altered monument, saying, these are examples of the historical changes that are part of the evolution of a community. Number 11. The Submarine Explorer a mysterious wreck believed to be a Japanese submarine has been discovered in Isla San Telmo, a small island in Panama. Although the Japanese have been denied recognizing the wreck, a study by a German diver indicates that the submarine had, in fact, been dumped by the Japanese in 1942 as a part of their plan to destroy the Panama Canal's Pacific entrance. The submarine's engineer, however, was not Japanese. Isla San Telmo, named after Saint Elmo, a martyr in the 4th century, is a small island in Panama and is one of Pearl Islands is approximately 200 islands. This island, located on the southeast side, has a total area of approximately 1.73 square kilometers. In 1966, a nature reserve was established on Isla San Telmo to protect the island from further harm. The recently discovered submarine is believed to be one of the oldest still in existence and was reportedly built in 1869. James Delgado, a marine archaeologist, discovered the wreck in 2001 while passing through the island. 
happened. After the tide receded, rusted metal was spotted in the water. It became apparent after a closer look that a submarine was resting in the waters. This discovery highlights the historical significance of Panama and its strategic location in the Pacific. It is an excellent discovery for historians and marine archaeologists, as it provides insight into a lesser known chapter of World War II's history. Number 10. Manchester's Secret Canal Trapdoor Manchester vlogger Martin Zero created a video showing how a rubbish-strewn stretch of Manchester city centre canal drains into an unseen river. The 27-minute video, entitled The Secret Trapdoor Under the Canal, went viral on YouTube after its publication in February. Surprisingly, Martin, whose hidden history online videos are typically watched by 5,000 to 20,000 viewers, has now managed to garner 2.5 million views worldwide on his video and counting. In the video, Martin displays how a 215-year-old trapdoor marked by an arrow carved into the stone quayside near Lock 89 of the Rochdale Canal allows for the draining of water. The trapdoor, located at the bottom of the canal, serves as a plug hole, enabling water to drain into the cultivated River Tib approximately 20 feet below. The River Tib, a tributary of the River Medlock, is a lost river that has culverted for nearly its entire length and gives Tib Street its name. Martin's video depicts the trapdoor being lifted by a chain and canal water gurgling down the hole. Martin expressed his excitement, stating, I was as excited as a kid in a sweet shop when the people from the Canal and River Trust said I could get down into the canal and get close-up views. Number 9. Spanish Stonehenge the Dolmen of Guadalperal is an ancient megalithic structure that was recently discovered in western Spain after having been submerged for several decades. The Dolmen, also called the Stonehenge of Spain, is believed to date back to the 3rd millennium BCE, which makes it around 4,000 years old. It was originally built using large granite blocks, some of which weigh several tons, and has featured several upright stones that form a chamber with a roof made of large slabs. The dolmen was rediscovered in 2019, when a drought caused the waters of a nearby river to recede, revealing the structure for the first time in almost 50 years. It is located in the Casares province of Extremadura, and it measures approximately 5 meters long, 3 meters wide, and 2.4 meters high. Experts believe that the dolmen of Guadalperal was most likely used as a burial site or as a place of worship, although its exact purpose is still unclear. There are several other similar mega Megalithic structures in the area, which suggests that the region was an important cultural and religious center during the Neolithic period. The rediscovery of the Dolmen of Guadalperal has sparked renewed interest in the ancient history of Western Spain, and archaeologists and historians are continuing to study the structure in order to learn more about its significance and the culture that built it. Number 8. Coins, Catfish, Bikes, and Bottles the treasure of Paris's Canal Saint Martin. Paris's Canal Saint Martin is drained and cleaned every 15 years, unmasking the area's secret life. The canal was constructed in 1825 on the orders of Napoleon to reinforce the city's drinking water supply. Today, it is a famous spot of Paris's bobos, bourgeois bohemians, wealthy, urban, and young hipsters who love to gather for summer evening aperitifs on the canal's banks. And now, curious crowds gather on the arched footbridges that run along the Canal Saint Martin to get a glimpse glimpse at the oddities poking out of the mysterious brown sludge below. The items found at the bottom of the canal are one of the most intriguing sights in the City of Light, reflecting the life of Parisians over time. This year's dredging operation that commenced has already unearthed many bizarre objects, including old wine bottles, bikes, rolled up carpets, wheelie suitcases, and street signs, which have been discarded in the canal over the past decade. However, on this occasion, workers also found a when the canal was drained for cleaning in 2001, this hall included two 75mm shells from the First World War, safes, gold coins, washing machines, at least one car, and 40 tons of rubbish. During one previous cleanup, 56 cars were retrieved from the canal. The cleaning operation is expected to last three months in a multi-million euro undertaking. The final result will be the restoration of the picturesque Canal Saint Martin. Number 7. 600-year-old Buddha emerges from the lake in China. 
A Buddha statue that is believed to be over 600 years old has been rediscovered in a Chinese reservoir. The 12.5 foot tall statue was found after water levels were lowered due to nearby hydropower gate renovations. Archaeologists think that the statue, which is extremely well preserved, dates back to the Ming Dynasty, 1368 to 1644. It has been submerged in the reservoir since 1958 when it was built. The statue is believed to have been built in a town called Xiaoxi and was meant to act as a spiritual tector for two local rivers. The location of the statue was lost after the reservoir caused extensive flooding in the area. The discovery is a testament of China's gradual move towards heritage protection. The local authorities during the time of the statue's submergence simply were not aware of the statue's cultural significance, according to Xu Changxing, the director of the Research Institute of Archaeology of Jiangxi Province. Some locals, such as 82-year-old blacksmith Huang Keping, still remembers seeing the statue before the flooding. Keping recounted that the statue was gilded at the time. Number 6. Ming Dynasty Bridge for almost 400 years, China's longest ancient lake bridge, the Thousand Eye Bridge, stretches for nearly two miles across the surface of Poyang Lake and provides a crucial transport link for the residents of Jiangxi Province in southeast China. Built during the reign of the last Ming Emperor, it serves as a key link between large towns and small fishing villages that surrounded the water. The Poyang Lake has great historical significance for the Ming Dynasty, as it is where the first Ming Emperor won victory over the Han Clan in 1363, effectively beginning the dynasty. The granite bridge was one of around 1,000 such bridges built around the one lake during the end of the Ming reign. The structure was known as the Thousand Eyes Bridge because it had 1,100 holes dotted along its length. For almost 400 years, as the lake level rose, the bridge disappeared into a watery grave, buried under the surface. However, now a prolonged drought means it emerges during the dry season. Visitors have traveled to see the Ming creation appear among the mud in the Poyang Basin, made from granite, measuring more than 2,500 feet, and dating back to 1631, the Thousand Eye Bridge is a lasting testament to the ingenuity of the Ming Dynasty engineers who constructed it. Number 5. Spanish Ghost Village a once flooded village in Spain's northwestern Galicia region that was partially submerged to create the Alto Lindoso Reservoir in 1992 has re-emerged due to an extreme drought. The ghost village, which consists of eerie grey ruins, has become a tourist attraction as the reservoir's capacity has reduced to just 15%. The drought has exposed details of a village frozen in time, with partially collapsed roofs and wooden debris that were once part of the village's infrastructure. There's even a drinking fountain with water still streaming from a rusty pipe, and crates with empty beer bottles that were stacked by what was once a picturesque cafe, and a semi-destroyed old car rusting away by a stone wall. The images are haunting. Some residents reportedly feel sad about the village surging from the reservoir once again, as it is a reminder of what may occur over the years due to drought and climate change. Portugal's power utility company, EDP, which manages the Alto Lindoso Reservoir, is facing criticism due to its aggressive exploitation of the reservoir. As the result of the drought, Portugal's government recently ordered six dams, including Alto Lindoso, to decrease the use of water for electricity production and irrigation. The situation highlights the impact of climate change on water resources and ecosystems. Number 4. Nandi Statue in a village called Arsinike, located about 20 kilometers south of the city of Misuru in India, two giant statues of the sacred bull Nandi, revered by Hindus as Lord Shiva's Vahana, or vehicle, have been discovered buried face to face under a dried up lake bed. The villagers believe that whispering your wishes into Nandi's ears leads to them reaching Lord Shiva himself. The discovery of these statues was long awaited as the last Mahara of Misuru, Jaya Shamara Jendra Wadiyar, who ruled from 1940 to 1950 had dreamt of excavating these ancient sculptures. However, due to the accumulated water in the region, it took years for his dream to come true. Sadly, he passed away long before seeing his dream come into fruition. The excavation of the site was carried out recently using JCB earth movers, and experts from the Department of Archaeology, Museums and Heritage visited the site to inspect the statues. The archaeologist N. L. Gauda confirmed that the statues appear to be from the 16th or 17th 
19th century AD and were of different sizes. There is a 2.5 meter gap between them, and one is almost 85% complete, while another is about 65%, leaving a mystery as to why they were left incomplete in that particular state. Number 3. Columbia Tank Found on Lake Bed a discovered aluminium tank from the Columbia Space Shuttle's mission STS-107 was recovered from Lake Nacogdoches in East Texas and likely made available for research purposes, according to NASA's project manager for Columbia's recovery, Mike Cianilli. The sphere was one of 18 cryogenic tanks carried by the shuttle during its 16-day mission and had been underwater for 8.5 years since the shuttle broke up over East Texas during re-entry in 2003. The tank stayed under the lake's water until the water levels diminished by about 11 feet during a drought, finally revealing it. The tank does not contain any hazardous materials, but it may have sharp edges. In space, the tank stored soup-cold chemicals that powered the shuttle's fuel cells to generate electricity for the spacecraft, enabling it to remain in space longer than usual for research purposes. NASA has worked with local authorities to recover and transport the tank back to Kennedy Space Center, as bringing Columbia's debris back is critical for NASA's space mission. NASA has been recovering debris from the Columbia Space Shuttle since its fatal accident in 2003, as the debris provides valuable insight for space flight safety development. This newly obtained artifact will also add to the research and provide useful information for developing future technologies. Number 2. Underwater Ghost Town – Old Bluffton in the mid-1800s, Old Bluffton was a bustling pit stop on a stagecoach line and home to 50 families in the Texas Hill Country, filled with pecan orchards and cornfields. However, the completion of the Buchanan Dam as part of the New Deal project elicited a drastic change, causing families to sell their land and evacuate before the dam's completion in 1937. Afterwards, the lake began filling up and soon overwhelmed the Old Bluffton community, leaving it underwater. Old Bluffton remained forgotten Gotten until Texas suffered a drought in 1984 that covered the waters of Lake Buchanan to recede, exposing parts of the lost town. The following storms returned the town to its watery grave. However, in 2009, a severe drought reduced the lake's water levels to 26 feet, providing an opportunity for the Texas Historical Commission's Architectural Division to excavate the historical town. Tombstones and graveyards, remains of a cotton gin, homes, hotels, and even a local bank were discovered well preserved by the water. Upon the opening of the site, hundreds of visitors traveled to witness the remains of this long-lost community in Texas Hill Country. And now, as of 2016, Old Bluffton has dipped below Lake Buchanan's waves yet again. Number 1. Dinosaur Tracks Uncovered in Texas After Severe Drought Dries Up a River Drought conditions in Texas have revealed dinosaur tracks belong to giant reptiles that lived over 110 million years ago. The dry weather is led to the exposure of footprints along a riverbed at Dinosaur Valley State Park, allowing visitors to witness one of the longest dinosaur trackways ever recorded. Authorities confirm that the most recently revealed tracks were made by Acrocanthosaurus, previously discovered to have weighed nearly 7 tons as an adult and stood 4.5 meters tall, and Sauroposeidon, found to have measured more than 18 meters tall and weighed 44 tons in adulthood. The park, located in an inland area, Area southwest of Dallas was once on the edge of an ancient ocean where dinosaurs roamed, leaving traces of their existence in the mud. Under normal river conditions, newer tracks are underwater and filled with sediment, and hence they are less visible. As rainfall is in the forecast, visitors may have limited time to observe the tracks before they are likely to be buried underwater again. Nonetheless, Dinosaur Valley State Park has committed to protecting these prehistoric relics for future generations to come. As climate change continues to cause drought in many regions of the world, it is likely that more and more cool things will be discovered as the water recedes. However, we must not forget the devastating environmental effects of climate change and take action to migrate its impact. We want this planet to stay healthy, right? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. We'll see you next time then, folks. This is Jake the Voice Pass signing off. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.